The use of embryos to produce stem cells is a hotly debated topic. At a recent stem cell conference in London, scientists and lay people were keen to put forward their views. I can't honestly say that I have a strong position on embryonic stem cell research. I, I personally believe in all research, find out what happens, what's involved, and we can then make the decisions which are based on the ethics. I've been an embryologist all my scientific career, developmental biologist, and I think you'll find most people that understand developmental biology understand where these cells come from. And the fact that they're human, I really, I don't think is really here nor there. I think the notion of mass producing our own species, just so you can destroy them to create things in a lab, is abhorrent. And you haven't got to be pro-life, you haven't got to believe the early embryo has a soul or is fully human. Uh, it's basically the beginning of one of us and therefore we should respect it. Of course I, I understand that to some people the idea of doing anything with a human embryo is a, is a deeply offensive idea. And you know, I understand and respect the, the difference of opinion. My name is Alison Davis. Um, I have spina bifida, osteoporosis and various other disabilities. I use a wheelchair full time and I run a group called No Less Human. Um, no Less Human is a group for disabled people, families and carers and we campaign for the equal right to life of all disabled people. At present, the law allows scientists to experiment on embryos up until they're 14 days old. This is something that people like Alison Davis are opposed to. I think it matters what we do to embryos because they are human individuals. They are at the beginning of all their development, certainly. Uh, but if you say they're just a bunch of cells, then you're forgetting that I also am just a bunch of cells, so, so is every human being who exists. Um, it matters what we do to human beings because uh, we have a duty to protect the most vulnerable. But let's just consider the stage of development it's reached. It, it's so small, it's smaller than a, a grain of sand. It has about 200 cells. It will be weeks before a central nervous system develops. And that means that there is no possibility of it being aware. And because it lacks this particular consciousness, this particular aspect of being human, that would be the reason why, for me, it is acceptable to use those embryos in research or in therapy. And this is where the dilemma lies. Some people believe that as soon as an egg cell is fertilized, it becomes a human being. Meanwhile, others say that an embryo develops gradually towards being a human individual and that by the legal limit of 14 days, it is still just a ball of cells. I think it's, it's wrong to suggest that people who are opposed to embryo research are being oversensitive. Each of us began life as a single cell as, and then as an embryo. Embryos are not potential human beings, they're actual human beings. The human life at itself begins at the moment of fertilisation. I, I think that what's important in making the judgments about an embryo is that uh, there should be uh, a national framework. I think these judgments are too sensitive to be made uh, by research workers, uh, by the patients who might benefit, by companies who might make money from it. I mean, I'd be first in line for ethical stem cell research, and there are uh, ethical sources of stem cells which are already treating people with disabling conditions. Uh, but I couldn't possibly countenance killing vulnerable human beings because there might be something in it for me. Mm -hmm.